Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Jay Smith Plays the Yog. I am Jay Smith and I'm on the internet. This is going to be episode 13 of the series that has long been not played. But, I'm back here and I'm back with some friends. I have Nick Rockley Smile. Yo. And then I also, I really like that yo. Nice. <laughs> and I also have Rob Alpaca Patrol. Yo. That was also, that was also a, a good yo. You guys are yo, yeah. yo, yo. He's trying yo. to steal my voices. I'm Yo Yo Ma. He's stealing your voices. I did. I, I, he's gonna get in trouble for. Well, that's how. Voice. I don't know if you guys knew that. I, that's how I know voices. Is I steal them. You sim you, yeah, you, you assimilate them, them like the damn Borg. Right. Yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm essentially like uh, like that Kirby. guy from, from Mortal Kombat and and Kirby. Yes. Shang Tsung. Yeah. No. 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 Kirby from Mortal Kombat is who. I'm Shang Tsung from Kirby. He's my favorite yeah, Shang player. Shang Kirby. Yeah. He's definitely Kirby is Mortal Kombat. Old mm. Shang Tsung or Young Shang Tsung? They're very different. Uh, I like middle-aged. He's got a Corvette. Um, you know, his wife <laughs> yes. just left him. He's yeah, he has, he has a like a thirty-year-old girlfriend. Yeah. It's oh, like that's sad, that actually. Yeah. Well, uh, he's my favorite. Maybe know. he was trying to steal her soul. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> who would you guys like to play? Uh, your um, characters. Rob. Let's start with you. Uh, okay, I would like to play uh, Red Lady. Red Lady. You stole my choice again. Good choice. I know. I, I'm choice. gonna be red lady. Nick, who would you like to be? I'll be. Uh, who's the other one other than blue or okay. green guy? You've got the orange man, blue lady, orange, orange man, man, blue lady, and green man. What's orange man's dude deal? What's he do? He's orange. Uh, he he has uh, magical properties of like strength and and heart. <laughs> and heart. Okay, I'll pick him then. Okay, you could. <laughs> and I. Ah, Tosborn. And I will take a uh, green man. So there's not good. There's no blue lady. Sorry, blue hmm. lady. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. She's blue, Dobby. <laughs> I see. I see what you did there. Anywho, the Yog will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not one of us. We just keep on living our lives week by week unaware. If you're not familiar with the Yogg, it just recently came out on Steam and it is basically a, an adventure tale, almost like a storybook where you just choose your own adventure and uh, certain instances you'll uh, have the opportunity to pick where you want to go uh, and those choices will reflect on the game right then but also possibly later on in the game as well. It's really interesting. Anywho, and there's stats. And there is stats. Stats, report. stats mm -hmm. I have. So you, you start with, everyone starts with the same base stats. Five physique, five finesse, five mind, five charm, five magic, and zero wealth. We're all poor. Uh, oh. And having starting with that, uh, I am up first. And since I'm poor, I'm going to go to the slums. And in oh. the slums, I will pickpocket. Get some extra money, you know? And I spend the week performing petty theft. I gain one wealth and two finesse. Mm. One night... I hear a woman whisper at you from nearby. Hey, you, she calls out, looking to make a bit of coin. And I can say I'm always up for some more coin, or I can say no thanks. You know, creepy ladies in the alleyway, some might say no, I say yes. I am always up for more coin. Of course you are. Who wouldn't be? She mm -hmm. signals me uh, to go into the alleyway with her. Come closer, she says. Nobody else can hear what I'm about to tell you. And I lean in close eager to learn how I'll be earning this coin. She presses herself right up against me, moving her lips slowly towards my ear. Suddenly, she bites your neck viciously. Blood pours from the wound and she clings to you tightly, lapping it all up. And I black out. And when I come to, I see her standing over me. Thanks, she says, tossing me a couple of coins. And I gain I one wealth. I think you're going to want to bang a girl named Sookie now. Sookie? Yeah. Why? It's a it's a True Blood thing. I never watched True Blood. You're a True Blooder. I, no, no, I'm not. I, I never watched it either. But I do know that that's the main character. I, it may or may not because be because I watched the scene where she gets naked. You probably did. That's something. That, that's, that's a Rob thing. You might be watching it right now. Who knows? You might be. <laughs> yeah, it could be, yeah. yeah. But I'm, I may or may not be. I'm wrong. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, this lady, she melts into the shadows. And I feel my neck, and I notice my wound has healed completely. My body feels ice cold, though. But I gain three charm, and I lose three physique. Mm. So, like, I got no uh -oh. muscle mass, but I'm, I'm, I got a good personality. Well, all it said is that you feel ice cold. So, like, I never knew that the warmth that radiates from your body accounts for that many physique. Ah, that's it. So when you're colder, you're, you're, you're more charming. You're way less attractive. 
Yeah, right. way less attractive. Well, no, he's more attractive he's now. More attractive. Got oh, charm. got the charm, charm. on. No physique. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. weak. Anywho, uh, Anywho, Rob, you are a red lady, correct? Yes, I am. Where would you like to go? I would like to go mm, do administration work at the palace. palace. Wonderful. Yeah. You spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. You're paid two wealth and gain one mind. One day the king approaches you. Excuse me, but you look like someone who I can confide in, he says. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but uh, the queen and I aren't exactly <laughs> active in the bedroom. He blushes a little. Do you nice. have any advice on how I could <laughs> romance the queen, so to speak? Now, you got a couple of options here. You can teach the king your ways, or admit that you don't know how to help. And I, I assume I have base stats on everything. It was five. You have, yes, five. I, I believe charm is what you're looking for here, and you have five, right. which is base. Mm, I still feel pretty confident in my way, in my, my knowledge of the ways to romance a sexy queen. So let's let's give him some advice and All see right. what happens. You, you choose teach the king your ways. You spend hours drawing a bunch of diagrams and going through <laughs> scenarios with the king. By the end of it, he's just as charming as you. He thanks you and hands you a large sack of coins as a reward. And you are wow. gain three wealth. So you just got five wealth just from that wow. one adventure land. But That's amazing. later that night, you get this sinking feeling that you might have actually made things worse. Weird. Excellent. I hope that comes back later. That'd be, that'd be good if that, that story continues on later and it's like, yeah, the king couldn't bang his wife so there's no heir, so the kingdom just explodes. It just or maybe explodes. the queen finds yeah. you because you're the That's one that knew all the diagrams in the first place. Yeah, how do you I know, know yeah. the diagrams? That's a good point, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where I got the diagrams. So I probably was making a bunch of Venn diagrams, actually. And just like, you circle everything. Up. There's three circles. There's like beauty, love, and dongs. And when they all meet... <laughs> they all convert. That, yeah, where they all meet, that's like the sexy point. Right, right, right. I, I actually was just thinking that the two circles would just be two different boobies that you press together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, well, they'd, yeah. Be, they'd be like, I don't know. Where the Venn part where they meet is the cleavage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then, like, they're not, they're only just touching, though. They're not, like, interloping, inter intersecting each other. Well, see, no, that's the power of these boobies, and that's why the king needed to learn this Venn diagram, Josh, yeah. is because they did. I, I, I haven't met phase. the queen. I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. That's true, yeah. Any Can you imagine if he was just drawing like a hundred diagrams of the clitoris and like none of them were right? <laughs> oh no, you're just like, <laughs> yeah. That'd be that's why I said he wasn't sure and maybe yeah. he made things worse. This might be what it's like. Like that's actually the butt. Mm. Don't do not do that. Classic butt mistake. <laughs> Anywho, Stay away from the butt, buddy. Nick, yeah. where yeah. would you like to go? You have the forest, arena, yeah. alchemy tower, gardens, tavern, and hospital left. I'm going to go to the uh, the alchemy tower and brew potions. Brew potions. No cleaning the lab for you. You're going to clean in a messy lab. Or you're going to brew. Brew in a messy lab. Brew it. Talk. Yeah. Brew it. Just brew it. Crew it and brew it. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potion while he's out. <laughs> Soon after he leaves, the potion begins bubbling out of control. If you don't do something soon, it will explode. Do you throw it out the window or do you drink it? I laugh because I have a pretty good experience with this particular <laughs> plot line at this point, and I'm gonna not drink it. I'm gonna do the other one. Yeah, throw it out the window. Yeah. Okay. You toss the potion out the window and watch its contents empty into the town's water supply. Shit. <laughs> Quick thinking. You gain one mind. <laughs> that might be worse. You take off early <laughs> for the day, hoping nobody finds out. Somebody well done. Did you blow up the alchemy tower? No, he, he just poisoned uh, the water supply. He poisoned the uh. water hole. <laughs> There's a snake in my boot. Exactly. <laughs> they say the last time it came, the Yogg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. Week two. I start. Oh, God. I accidentally picked the scums again, and there is no way... To be back. Oh, yeah, press shift. Shift gives it back. All right. I am going to go... What What did I do? I got vampirism and stuff. So mm -hmm. I am... Uh, charm. Charm somebody. I'm going to charm someone. In, I'm going to use it in the arena. And I am going to bet on a fight. I spend the week placing bets on my favorite fighters. 
And I gained five wealth, baby. That's pretty good. You have five wealth babies. Five wealth babies. Like, they, they come out of trees. I don't know if you know. Mm, you can ask the king. Fine. He told me all about it. Mm. Over the course of the week, you've noticed your skin become paler and my teeth sharper. I noticed that whenever I talk, everyone nearby hangs on my every word. And I gain three charm. I also feel more frail and gaunt than I used to, and I lose three physique. One day, I noticed a woman tilting her head back, brushing her hair, her neck fully exposed. I can even see a vein or two. Delicious. Before I know it, I'm coated in blood with a mangled form in front of me, and there are dozens of people around, and they're all filled with delicious nectar. The next few hours are a blur, and I wake up the next day in bed sheets soaked with blood that is not my own. I look in the mirror and notice my skin has regained its color, and my teeth have dulled. It's kind of a wild circumstance area. Mm. The mm. arena is no longer able to be gone to. I ruined it. I broke it. I am, I apologize. Uh, Josh, yeah, I mean, sorry. Come on now. I didn't mean it's all it. full it's, of blood now. It's all yeah. You, the blood's coming out of everywhere. It's just a blood lake. Oh well, yeah. It's, it's like the, it's like it's like Swan Lake, except blood. way worse. Yeah. It could be fun. Swans can be in there. It'd just be a little bit, you know, yeah. more. They would be red swans, though. Yeah, Dracula's, Dracula swans. <laughs> anyway. Dracula swanus. Robert. Yes. You are up. Oh, I am. Um, I would like to go to. What? So what? I have. I have, have high the... charm. What, what's my? What's my highest stat? Your highest stat is six with mind. All the others are at five. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the hospital mm -hmm. and let's tend to some patients. That sounds nice. That's a very nice thing that you're going to be doing. I agree. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick, and you gain two mind and earn one wealth. <laughs> one day, a patient comes into the hospital with sores nobody's ever seen before. While mm. walking by his bedside, he looks to you and rudely asks for a glass of water. Would you like to get him water or ignore him? Hmm. Uh, let's get him some water. Get him some water. You yeah, don't care if he was so. rude, so... No. As a, as a Here's old the water. Man. Okay, yeah, you're old and seen out. Here you go. You bring him a small glass to quench his thirst. He takes a large sip, swigs it around, and then proceeds to spit it at you. The water hits you right in the face. After cleaning up, you scold the obviously insane man for spitting at you. But that night, when you get home, dizzy and start having vivid hallucinations about ancient wizards. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. And you gain three magic, but you lose three mind. Stop thinking about wizards all the time, you weirdo. I, I think about wizards a lot. Mm. This is just an invoker. Is there a part of it that also makes you want to spit water into people's faces? Is that part of this disease? I, no yeah, you, you have, like, when you insert water into your mouth, you... Psh, you want it out. Yeah, you want it out. Not the down way. It's bad, yeah. Nick. All right. Let's go to the alchemy tower again, and this time we'll uh, clean some shit up because, you know, I poisoned the water supply before. Yeah, okay. That's the that's nice thing to do. I like, I like your attitude. <laughs> you spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You're paid one wealth for your labor and gain one physique and one magic. One day, all the alchemists decide to break from their work and instead throw a cantrip party. One alchemist waves his hands and produces confetti in front of him. Another spawns a seemingly endless number of doves from a sleeve. <laughs> seemingly <laughs> endless. Then, all the alchemists turn to you to see what you can come up with. Would you like to do a simple trick? Or a well, my special power is poisoning the town water supply. You, um, yeah, that's <laughs> pretty yeah. good. You have eight magic. I'm going to give it a shot and go for the fancy trick. The eyebrows aren't going to cut it this time. Complex trick. No, no yeah. eyebrow changing for you. No eyebrows. With a snap <laughs> of your fingers... You bring a chair to life. You yeah. sit atop of it and ride it around the room. Everyone is quite impressed. It's like Fantasia. You gain two charm. There you go, Nick. Yeah. All right, I'm into it. All right, good. <laughs> you, got, you got a little friend there. He's a table man. You stand on him. Dance with a chair. Yeah. Stand on table man. Stand on table man with the chair. Stand oh, on table man. Table man in the chair. Well, that seems like a really nice book. I would read that. I'd read table, table man in the chair. Anyways. It was on us in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook, and the air went still. Week three. 
I am up, and I am going to go to the forest. And in the forest, I think I want to hunt. I spend the week hunting defenseless critters. I gain you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, I know, right? I Nobody get two to finesse it. and sell the pelts for one wealth. One night, through the trees, I spot a group of cloaked figures standing in a circle. They are chanting in unison. Oh, mighty lord of the night, master of beasts, bringer of pain and derision. One of them runs from out of the darkness towards the rest of the group. Sorry, everyone. I was reading this calendar wrong, he says. You were supposed to summon a demon yesterday. Now we have to wait a whole year to try again. There's a collective sigh as the group disperses. I learned a bit about demon summoning. I gained <laughs> one mind and one magic. I like that one a lot. That was the that way that you said before. that, too. I learned a bit about demons. <laughs> <laughs> like Luke Skywalker or something. <laughs> Rob, you're up. Um, uh, oh, shit. You have shit. alchemy oh, tower, yeah. gardens, palace, tavern, hospital, and slums. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the slums. Okay. And in the slums, would you like to pickpocket or fight crime? Let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, pickpocket. Pickpocket. You spend nope. the week performing petty theft. You gain one wealth and two finesse. Over the course of the week, you notice yourself growing more and more spiral-shaped sores all over your body. One day, the sores begin glowing a vibrant blue. You feel your magical power grow even stronger while your mind slips further and further. You gain three magic, you lose three mind. In no time, the swords are glowing so bright that they hurt to look at. Someone rushes up to you asking if you're all right. With only a glance, you set him aflame. And you let out a scream that shakes the earth and shatters the skulls of all nearby. A river of blood coats the ground as you walk about reveling in your destruction. And you black out. When you come to, you're at home in your bed. Your sores have faded and you feel like the disease's symptoms have passed. So you ruined the, you, you broke the slums. I, I real see, so here's the thing. I don't think I've ever seen the slums explode. You, and now, I, they're, now they're a heap of scummy rubble. <laughs> the scummy and blood. rubble. Again, more yeah, blood. Yeah, lots of blood. Bloods. That sounds like a death metal band. Scummy rubble and blood. Scummy rubble blood. So the lake of blood has now extended all the way from the arena to the scums. Yeah, it's in between the the lakes because the there's a river of blood it goes from oh, yeah. arena blood lake to scum blood <laughs> lake. Uh, charming. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Nick, you're up. You have the Alchemy Tower, Gardens, Palace, Tavern, and Hospital left. Well, you guys keep exploding everyone. All I want to do is keep shit in control, so I'm going to go and meditate in the garden. Okay. you, you got to think about what we've done and what you could do to fix it. That's what I'm trying to. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. Over the course of the week, you notice more and more people setting up camp in the gardens. They appear to be protesting the lack of support for rebuilding the slums. Would you like to join their cause or ignore them? Well, this is interesting. I've never seen this happen before. Mm -mm. I'd like to join their cause or ignore them. What is going to happen if I join the cause for rebuilding the slums? What could go wrong there? What could go right? <laughs> How would that be a bad thing? Well, I don't have a lot of physique, so I'm trying to figure out what the check would be if I'm going to be physically rebuilding myself or if this is a charm thing to try and persuade someone into helping us. You've got or maybe six physique, five finesse, nine mind, seven charm, nine magic, and one wealth. Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. You're going to join their happens. cause? Yeah. That sounds fun. I like that. For the rest of the week, you camp out in the park, singing songs, dancing, and making witty signs. You gain what? one finesse and one charm. That's it. Okay. There oh. There go. GG. There's no trick. You're <laughs> <laughs> no, you just, you just want to be part of the protest. Yeah. And then the world was a howling fury, chaos, and screaming. The sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Week four. I am up. I have zero physique, nine finesse, six mind, eleven charm, six magic, and eight wealth. I think that's pretty okay. I am going to go to the hospital and tend to the patients. I spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. I gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day, the bloodletting leeches somehow escape oh, from their God, containers. God. 
Oh boy. <laughs> leeches start flooding into the hallway. There are people screaming everywhere as the leeches slither towards them. Somebody do something, yells one of the doctors. Now I can zap the leeches with my sixth magic or use myself as bait, and I believe that would be like my ninth finesse. Let me try to use my magic. I wave my hand, unleashing a wave of magic to disintegrate the leeches. My magical ability isn't what I thought it was. My spell fizzles out before it even reaches the leeches. Regardless, the leeches make their way out of the hospital and end up infesting all of the nearby waterbeds. So the water in this town is basically screwed. <laughs> yeah, we I was going to say, maybe because I poisoned it, I kill all the leeches by accident. Maybe oh. you mutated them into bigger leeches. Oh, That's shit. a possibility, too. That's probably like, what happens. It's probably gamma radiation. Mm. The water's all blood now, anyway. It's all blood. There's mist rolling in from the outskirts of town as well. There's nothing's going right. It's raining blood, too. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah. I can't play that song. It's too hard for me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty difficult. Uh, Rob, mm -hmm. with your with your lady of magic and wisdom, would you like to go to the uh, forest, alchemy tower, gardens, palace, or tavern? Well, I feel like uh, that answer is the alchemy tower, All right? Because right. that's like that's like totally magicy stuff. Yeah, right? you want to see what's going on. Yeah, magic things. Would you like to clean the lab or brew a potion? Uh, let's brew a potion. All right. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic in one mind. One day, you hear cries for help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, you see that the alchemists there have accidentally created an ooze monster. Oh, no, not an ooze monster. How do punch you it. dispatch the ooze? Do you punch it into submission or do you blast it with magic? Well, my magic is like, what, like a bajillion? Your magic is 13. And your physique is five. Let's blast the shit out of this ooze monster. You want to blast the ooze with magic. You mm -hmm. pulverize the ooze into a puddle with an array of magical spells. The alchemists all cheer. You gain one charm. There you go. That's it. GG. Boom. Mm -hmm. I'll do one charm for killing an ooze monster. Well, you know, there's only a couple people in the room. It's like, hey, you killed it. And it's like, thanks, guys. It's a minimally <laughs> charming action, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nick, where would you like to go? I'd like to go meditate again, please, in the garden. Head, hang out in the gardens. Yeah, I want to see where this goes. Okay. There's more gardening. Would you like to landscape or meditate? Oh, meditate, you said? Meditate, yeah. Okay. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. One day, you come across an elderly man snoozing on the grass. You there, young person. He waves you over. I'm having an awful time trying to nap in the bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? Now you could block the sun for the old man, or you can decline. I'm gonna decline. Yeah, you don't want to. Old no. man's weird. He's been out here for weeks. He kind of smells bad. You don't want to say. Yeah, anything. I don't know why I could be shade for him. Like he could go find a fixed object. Yeah. That's not a human. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. I mean, he is in a garden after all. Absolutely. <laughs> you decline. And the old man seems pretty creepy, so you mutter something about having an appointment and excuse yourself. You feel good about having to avoid an interaction with the elderly. <laughs> you gain one shot. <laughs> really? That's how that ends? That's how it ends. <laughs> you feel good about avoiding the elderly. Yeah. Weird. Yep. You, know, elderly you gotta avoid the elderly You don't want it. You don't need that in your... You know, were you gonna build your resume with talking yeah. to the elderly? No. That was honestly an experiment more than anything. I've never seen anyone decline that, so I just wanted to see what happens. So that's, that's what the game's all about. You you want to mm -hmm. try to step away from the, the norm because there's all sorts of crazy things that yeah. will happen anyway. No norm, no elderly. Absolutely. Step away. Yeah. You really hate Norm this McDonald. Fucking norm. Awful. Comedians. Anyways, when it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? Week five. We got this week and next week left. Um, I am going to go to the tavern. And I am going to drink. I spend the entire week getting wasted. I gain two charm and one physique. One day a bard pulls out his lute and the bar and starts playing a tune. Unfortunately, his singing is horrible and is ruining the tavern's atmosphere. And I decide to do something about it. I can convince him to leave or challenge him to a loot duel. I'm going to challenge him to a loot duel. I borrow the bar owner's loot and challenge the bar to a musical duel. I play out a beautifully complex combination of arpeggios. The tavern roars with applause. 
The bar tries his best to replicate your piece, but ends up dropping his loot, snapping it in half. He bows his head shamefully in defeat and walks out of the tavern. I gain one finesse and one charm. Hey, you beat the shit out of that bard, Josh. Yeah, bard, suck it. Mm -hmm. I'm better than you at what you do. <laughs> I know how this goes. Mm -hmm. uh, Rob, you are next. Um, well... Uh, you know, why don't I... I could just still go to the, the Alchemy Tower to brew potion again. You got the Forest, Goodbye. Alchemy Tower, Gardens, Palace, and Hospital. Alchemy Tower? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it again. All right. Let's do it again. Brew it. Keep on brewing, baby. Mm-hmm. Just brew more potions. You know brew crew. Yeah. Brew. <laughs> you spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, you hear one of the alchemists shout, Eureka! When you look uh -oh. over to see what he's done, you spot a small, previously dead ferret come to life. I figured out the antidote to death, the alchemist exclaims. The undead ferret lets out a horrific noise and lumbers about slowly. Uh -oh. Would you like to destroy the abomination or praise the alch alchemist's accomplishments? You know what? It's time to be a necromancer, baby. Praise him. <laughs> praise it. Or 20, praise it. <laughs> That's amazing, you say, slightly discomforted by the ferret's presence. You didn't hurt the alchemist's feelings, and you gain one charm. Okay, good. <laughs> I keep going to this alchemy tower to get more magic, oh. and I just keep getting more charming. <laughs> I'm just charming as hell. You're going to have undead ferrets, leeches, lakes of blood, and a freaking tidal wave. Yeah. Like all of that. <laughs> scary. And a charming wizard. Mm. And a charming wizard. And Nick, a vampire. Where would you like to go? I'd like to go bartend, please. Uh, you cannot because I already went to the oh. tavern. Oh, right, you did. <laughs> Shit, Sorry. you went to both of the places I was going to go. Um, I guess I'll go meditate again <laughs> at the garden. <laughs> you go to the gardens and meditate. You spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. Walking past a pond one day, you see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Please, sir, the frog begs. I am not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. If you could see your way to kissing me, I would break the curse and return me to normal. Would you like to kiss the frog or catch the frog? Every time I do this, I fail. This time, I think I actually have the stats for it. I'm going to kiss the shit out of that all prince. Right. You, you <laughs> kiss the spit, you bend down, yeah? and kiss the frog. <laughs> Suddenly, the frog is enveloped in a cloud of shivering fog. When the fog clears, the frog is gone, and a tall, uh -huh. regal man is standing in the pond instead. Regal man. He thanks you for <laughs> helping him and gives you a handsome reward. You gain two wealth. As the word spreads of your deed, your reputation improves, and you gain one charm. Worth it. The Yog. <laughs> it's almost here. Almost. Almost. Week six. Last week. Get your bets in. I am. I think I want to go to the palace. I'm going to go to the palace in this one, and I'm going to attend the ball. Attended. I spend the week attending fancy gatherings as my behemoth of a man holds the tiniest little glass of wine. <laughs> I gain two charm and one finesse. One day, I hear somebody shouting something in the hallway. There's a bomb in the palace, they scream. Oh no. There's a mass panic as people try desperately to escape the palace's walls. I'm gonna locate and disarm the bomb. I run deeper into the castle trying to figure out where the explosives are hidden. I manage to find them in a wine cellar disguised as barrels of wine. The bomb appears to be on a detonator that is controlled by a powerful magic. I realize immediately I won't be able to figure it out and get out of the building as quick as I can. I'm almost out when the bomb goes off. There's a huge explosion that knocks me through a wall. I lose one physique. Now I have zero. And that's it. Rob, where would you Oops. like to go? Knowing that three of the places are now destroyed. Rob? Uh, what? Yep, sorry. Hey, you're back. Yes, yeah. I got all, got all messed up internet-y. Oh. Well, you're, 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 you're just in time to choose where you'd like to go. I, hmm. I, I broke the palace. It exploded. I, I saw Yeah, I saw it. was a bomb. Yeah, it's terrible. Bombs, bombs uh, and, and scary things happen. Where, um, you got the forest, could alchemy we tower, go? gardens, tavern, hospital. You know what? Let's go drink at the tavern. Let's go drink. It's the last week we've got here. Might as well just get piss-wasted, right? 
Exactly. All right. You spend the entire week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. One day, while in the tavern, a heated argument erupts between two patrons. Soon enough, fists are flying and everybody seems to be joining in on the violence. Would you like to join the fray or break up the fight? Let's join the fray. You jump into the thick of the fight and let loose some pent up rage on some unsuspecting patrons. You gain one physique from all the exertion. That's it. GG, you beat up a bunch of patrons. <laughs> wow, that's, that's... I'm just trying to get this. Just, why can't I use my magic powers like the Gandalf you shall not pass? Gandalf the Grey, Super Gandalf cool. the White, Monty Python and the Holy yeah, Pirates, Black Knight. <laughs> Nick, where exactly. would you like to go? I want to brew potions one last time. We're getting like all the shit out of the way with the Alchemy Tower. Alchemy Tower has towers been heavy usage. Yeah, for sure. You spend the week experimenting the week experiment. with different potion brews, and I can hear myself through someone's. It's gone now. It might be me. So Rob's it. gone now. I have no idea. Anyways, yeah. you gain two magic in one month. Two magic in one month. One day, an artificer stops by for a visit. She is adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos, and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. The alchemists of the tower all go out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. However, as she leaves, she turns to you and says, You. I like you. She offers you a choice of one of her trinkets. Would you like the Ring of Clever Thoughts or the Ring of Swift Movement? Uh, I think I've been more of the mind-oriented character, so I'll take the Ring of Clever Thoughts. Ah, that sounds good. The Ring grants you three mind. You're up to 17 mind, damn. That's the highest thing I've ever had. Mm -hmm. The alchemists are jealous. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? It's time to choose your roles. Is everyone here? Is Rob here? Yep. Okay. You seem to have some issues Sorry. going on. There's, there have been some 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 problems. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you sure? Yeah, do I'm fine to, now. I, 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 I God gotten you. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was, it, was, it was the blood bloodletting leeches. Actually, have we seen any more leeches no, for a while? No leeches. We didn't see any leeches. It's been a while. It's been a while. Hmm. It's not going to be a lot for the Yog to destroy now. I mean, we lost three out of the, like, eight or so places, right? Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the slums are no more. They're just completely engulfed in water, the blood water. Uh, Alchemy Tower is about half-mast, and the, the arena is still <laughs> broken. Uh, the, the castle is just as destroyed as it ever was, and, like, I don't know what happened to the forest. It's just not there anymore. <laughs> hmm. Anyways, <laughs> choose your role. It is me up first. I have zero physique, 11 finesse. 8 Mind, 16 Charm, 6 Magic, and 9 Wealth. Uh, I think I'm going to be the leader. I think I got the, enough Charm and hopefully, I think, to, to do that. I take it upon myself to be the leader of the survivors. I expertly delegate and prioritize tasks. I give motivating speeches and act as an effective mediator in disputes. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Nice. Next up is Rob. Um, your stats are 7 Physique, 7 Finesse, 4 Mind, 9 Charm, 15 Magic, and 7 Wealth. And you can either be mm. the Builder, the Conjurer, the Doctor, the Smelter, the Tailor, the Looter, or the Town Drunk. Huh. You know, I actually didn't realize that I had 7 Wealth. Mm-hmm. But I... Uh... You know what? Let's just let's just go for the safe. But let's go for the conjurer. conjurer? Let's, let's get. Let me conjure some stuff up. Okay, you take it upon yourself to help conjure up supplies for the town. With your magic, you summon supplies of the highest caliber. With little effort, you're summoning high-quality lumber and food from out of nowhere. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. There you go. Mm -hmm. GG. Ah, yeah, that's sir. Last not least, uh, Nick, you have six physique. 6 Finesse, 17 Mind, 10 Charm, 13 Magic, and 3 Wealth. You have the Builder, the Doctor, the Smelter, the Tailor, the Looter, and the Town Drunk left. I'm in a little bit of a strange situation here because I think both of the roles that I probably would have been best suited for are what you guys already picked. Mm -hmm. So, what was my Finesse again? Your Finesse was 6, your Mind is 17. Yeah. 
I don't know how much a doctor has the finesse factored in with the mind, mm -hmm. but it seems like I, the I next best choice, unless yeah. you have a better idea. That seems I that seems it. perfectly reasonable to me. Rob, same. You're 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 mindful, Nick. I believe so. I believe uh, you could come up. I with just don't want to throw diseases. the whole run because I can't come up with a better role. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you, Nick. We oh, believe in. I you. believe in you. Yeah. And, right. and good, good, bad, or middle ending, it's all good in the og. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna choose doctor for you. You take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the yog. Despite your vast medical knowledge, your hands are too shaky to save yeah. some patients. So you're right about the finesse. You lose a few, but manage to save most of them. This helps the survival effort quite a bit. And so, we set about our tasks, once more living our lives. This time, in a way we might never have expected, or even wanted. But in the end, we flourished. Towers nice! once wrecked and ravaged rose towards the sky. Trees again took root, then blossomed. And we all blossomed. And though it took a long while, and though it took a lot from us, our future is bright. Should the Yogg ever return, we will be ready. We got the good ending. Well done, guys. A little shocked, actually, Jeez. considering uh, yeah. one of you explodes and the other's a vampire. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. I'm basically like that girl at a Hellboy that, like, blows up and stuff. <laughs> All right, so everyone's individual endings are up now. Um, mine is, after the town is rebuilt, I take a visit to the palace library. I look for any material regarding the mysterious disease to which that woman infected me with. After a few months of research, I need... I, I think I've discovered exactly what I need to do. I whittle myself a stake and begin scouring the slums, hoping to enact your revenge. One day, I find a secret passage leading deep into the sewers. That was it. That's Ooh, that's it. Mysterious. It's, that's it. <laughs> find a secret passage. Yeah. It's interesting. Rob. Mm hmm. With the town fully rebuilt, you spend more and more time in the Alchemy Tower. Your potion brewing abilities quickly become amongst the best in the world. Your health and mana potions are considered world-class delicacies, with people venturing far and wide to buy them. But you never learn how to brew a love potion. Aww. <laughs> really? That's the end. <laughs> That's terrible. And Nick. Sweet Nick. After the town is rebuilt, you go back to meditating in the park. You spend weeks at a time sitting in one spot trying to cross into another plane of existence. After years of attempts and self-sacrifice, you finally manage to cross over to the Astral Realm. You come to find the Astral Realm is exactly like the normal world, except everyone's eyes are slightly smaller. You don't know how to get back home. <laughs> Oh, it's like Doctor Who. Uh, art and writing by Emily Carroll. Programming design and writing by Damien Sommer. Well done, team. GG. Yeah. That was good. We got it. The game didn't crash. Yeah. Yeah, the other Yogg. The meta Yogg. The meta Yogg. They, they fixed the, the Damien, main Damien did right? fix it the, the day that it came out. So hopefully the Yogg won't crash anymore. Highly, highly recommend the game to anyone who was waiting for it to uh, be on Steam. Thank you. Rob and Nick for hanging out with me today. It's been a whole lot of fun. Of course. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry about the internet issues. Oh, dude, it was good. You didn't miss any of your turns, so all is well. All is well. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Links to these two gentlemen will be in the description. Thank you again for hanging out, and I will check you next time. Later.